Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome back to another video. Today we have a lot of exciting information that just got released about Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is sort of an insight into the future, what the developers are planning over there, and they're letting us know what's going on, which is awesome. So today I'm going to be telling you guys everything that they said and we're going to talk about it and sort of have a discussion. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think about this as well because, you know, they, they do definitely listen to the community and our feedback does matter, so every opinion counts. But as always guys, before we get started, if you could do me a really big favor and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to this channel if you are brand new. We're approaching 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. The the support of this channel has been insane recently, so I want to give you a big shout out to everybody uh, who's helped with that. And with all that said out of the way guys, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the brand new game mode. And this is what a lot of people are concerned and have questions about because it wasn't really too explained about what they're doing with it. So basically, what they announced in this interview is that they're bringing a game called Jetpack Cargo to this. And it's going to be a limited time game mode. Now, if you guys never played the first original EA Star Wars Battlefront, there was a game mode called uh, Cargo, and essentially this is Star Wars Capture the Flag. Literally, you have two sets of cargo on, on, on either side of the team, and uh, each team needs to defend their own cargo while trying to capture the enemies and bring it back. So it's just like Capture the Flag, only you replace the flag with cargo. But there's a big difference in the one that they're about to bring versus the previous one that we had. And this new one that we're going to get, we are only going to be playing as jetpack troopers. So everybody's going to be flying around. Now in the original one, you know, you could pretty much be whoever you want and it didn't really matter. But this one is going to be a limited time game mode where you're only playing as the jetpack troopers. So maybe if you want to get started on that, I, I would recommend it. But I don't really know how I feel about this. This this almost sounds a little bit unbalanced and I, mean, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. It does sound interesting and I will give it a go. But what do you guys think about that? I'm completely different down for them to add new game modes like I, I love that stuff but I don't know what maybe if it's like great instead of making just limited time they'll keep it in the game that's what I think they should do if something goes over really well and it's just a fantastic game mode instead of making it limited time just add it permanently to the game so this will be coming next month at some time we don't know the exact date but that's what they said in this interview so in this article and uh, now the next thing I want to talk about guys is the brand new revamped progression system that they're talking about I think this is the one that's most concerning to a lot of people. Now, all they're really saying right here is that they've taken a lot of community feedback about how we rank up, you know, earn crafting parts, credits, all that sort of stuff. Just the basic uh, progression system of how you actually attain and acquire items in this game. And apparently they've been listening to a lot of community feedback and have thus made changes. But the question is, what are they exactly planning? They didn't go into detail. I've seen a lot of people accusing them of getting ready to bring back the pay to win stuff and, uh, you know, the microtransaction. I don't think that's what that means i feel like they're gonna make the ranking up system a little bit easier to do especially attaining cards but as far as leveling up goes, I think what this means is that they're about to bump up the level cap to maybe like 75 or even 100. I'm not sure. Right now the max rank is 50 and uh, a lot of people are stuck at max rank and their XP is basically just being thrown away so they feel like they're wasting their time. I'd imagine they're going to bump the level cap up with each new season or update probably, so expect something like that. And then I don't know if they're going to make any tweaks to the cards and maybe the er the rate that you earn crafting parts and credits. We'll see. They're still, this is a very, very intricate system and balancing everything is, uh, is going to be a feat for them, but I would like to see what this update brings let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen with the brand new updated uh progression system now something else that's really exciting is the brand new season that's coming around so our previous season you know we had the first order in the resistance and the the first order side ended up winning and i honestly like i i like that idea but it didn't really feel like you were actively like you know fighting for a cause or whatever whatever you decided to pick you know what i mean like i hope that they bring in more community events that actually feel like you're you're kind of fighting as a group for something because i'm not gonna lie like when i selected that i like half the time i almost forgot i was like what side i even picked and that this was the thing you know what i mean and I've talked to a lot of people who feel the same way. I just feel like with the next season, and uh, if you pick a side to fight for, it should feel like you are on that side the entire time, and you're actively doing things to, you know, push that forward. I'm not really sure. I hope they, you know, add some more events or something like that, but we'll see how that goes. But there is a new season coming very soon, and they didn't want to say anything too much yet, but they know that we're waiting for information. They're just waiting a little bit longer to actually tell us the specifics. But this is basically the update I want to give you guys and what's going on with Star Wars Battlefront. I'm really excited for all this stuff. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are most hyped for the new season, the new game mode, or the, you know, the new progression that we're going to see very soon as well. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like. I'd appreciate that a lot. Subscribe to this channel if you are brand new and haven't done already. And other than that, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out.